Hello everybody and thank you for coming back to the channel and to this chapter I think it's the third one on the PT19 build so as of the last chapter the structure is built I've sanded it, I've put a, a, a coat of water and uh, glue on it and I've sanded it down again uh, and now I've started with the tissue covering so the design I'm going to go, I think is in the picture I showed already is the typical one from the trainer when the, when the PT-19 was used as a trainer during the war in the United States so it's going to be yellow wings yellow stabilizer blue fuselage um, and, uh, and the tail is going to be also interesting um, for a moment I thought it was going to be the tail was going to be the most difficult part because it's going to be yellow then white the red stripes of the of the stars and stripes I suppose but I think it's going to be complicated all along so I started with the tail so far I've got it white, uh, yellow and, and white uh, and then I'll go probably with the stabilizer also in yellow and the, the wing in yellow so there'll be little little challenges all the way along um, one of my concerns is then warping because now for the moment I haven't shrunk this but if I if I make it wet it will then dry and get tent taut which is nice it'll look good but there's a significant risk of uh, of wing warping and the whole surface is warping so I'm not sure how I'm going to do it so if it's if it's nice without the tension then I might leave it like that I see I don't want the wings twisting because then it looks awkward and then flies even worse than it looks. So, so we'll see how it goes. So that's what's going to keep me busy now the next few days, maybe a week or two, I don't know. And I'll keep you posted as I progress. Next thing, seven red stripes on this. Let's see how I do that. I've got the, the rudder finished. There's a little red spot that's annoying me there. Basically what I did, I cut a long strip of the red tissue and then went around wrapping it and I think I got the right number. The distance is not perfect but it looks good. I must say that uh, I wasn't looking forward to this, but then as I was doing it and uh, and seeing how it gets better, then it looks better, then it's it's growing on me. Like uh, in general, the tissue covering of the models has not been my favorite, but slowly as I see that it does make a difference to what the, the way they look like, it does uh, it is growing on me, as I say. So I put there the red stripes and then also a red uh, a black a black stripe there that's on on some of the models I found on the internet. On the on the airplanes and uh, so that's the rudder which uh, I think will look good. Uh, this this red spot that's annoying me still. And then I've also covered the the elevator uh, full yellow. So let's see how it goes. I, again, I'm still worried about wetting the tissue and uh, because it might then warp. So I might actually leave it as is. It won't look as nice, but um, but it's so thin that I think it's very easy for it to warp. So. So let's see. So that's then the the elevator. Next step will be and challenge will be then the wing. Ideally, I would actually cover the wing, wet it, and then ping it down. But as I have the 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 landing gear there, it's going to be very difficult to do that. So I'm thinking of the strategy of how to do it. So I'll probably do three three sheets. Like I'll, I'll cover the under wing, one piece here, one piece here, and one in the middle. Cut in some slits for the for the undercarriage. And then I'll do the top. I don't know even one or maybe two pieces. Let's see how how it goes. Again, that that making it wet would be the best. But then I have to see how I can actually pin it down. Maybe on the edge of a table, pin it down that uh, that it dries and doesn't uh, and doesn't warp. So that'll be then the next headache. But uh, but it's coming along. So it's um, it's good. So let me show you the progress. I have wetted the 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 tissue. And I've pinned it down like this. I've done one side and the other. And hopefully when I, I take it off, actually I can try to take it off because it's it should be dry already. Then it won't be warped. Um, let's hope this is not a live disappointment. So here is the elevator. Seems to be okay and tense. So let's see how that is. And then also the rudder. Let's see how that is. Let's see if this one looks okay, that it's not too crooked. Seems okay-ish, so it's good and now nice and taut. And then the wing, what I've done, I've taken a piece of the foam board of these like polyesterine because of the undercarriage and first of all I covered it all, then I wet 
one wing to tote it and then I pinned it down the same as this one and then I'm still going to, I don't know if it, it can be seen that this is nice and let's say smooth and, and taut this isn't yet because I haven't wetted it yet and uh, I'll do it then, I'll unstick this one and then try to do it and let's hope it doesn't warp then I have to cover then the top part of the wing and uh, and do the same thing and hope it doesn't twist so let's see, let's see how that goes here's the wing already covered and, uh, and stretched the upper part is not as perfect as I would like to have it there's some wrinkles there but I'll have to live with that I also put in some kind, some small reinforcements that are not in the plan so that then when I mount the fuselage that it fits, that it doesn't slip off especially when I glue it so some, some strength to give it there and now I'm, I've taken out the blue tissue paper so I'm going to be working with it um, first of all or a couple of things I have to do like I have to cover with tissue the fuselage uh, I have to put on the, the engine cowling the up and the lower part on first um, so that's um, that's a part that I have to do and then maybe even more complicated that already started I have to do the the markings right so here on the wings there'll be some markings which are a round circle a white star and a red dot in the middle which is nice and complicated to make so I think the circle is okay to do the star I looked up my, geogram my geometry online actually and I managed to design a a five point star, the American star, and now I have to. This is a template, I'll put it onto the white tissue paper and hope it's visible there. And I still have to make the red dot that goes in the middle. So, so that's um, that's uh, the, the fun part that's going to that I'm going to do now. So, more tissue covering blue now, and then at some point assembly. And here's the tissue covering pretty much done. I've put the, the insignia on the wings, which for for hand cut circles I think they're round enough so I'm happy with that at the distance it looks better of course hopefully on the video it looks better than in real life it's not completely smooth but as I say I'm, I'm quite happy with that also the fuselage I've covered so in, in the blue color and uh, black here for the top I still have to do a few details I have to cut out the cockpits so they're cutting the wood but not in the tissue yet so I have to do that and I've also painted the, the nose block with paint I'm not used to that so I'm learning that a little bit and it looks okay I think the color doesn't quite match but almost right so it's, uh, it's going to be close enough so now with the tissue pretty much done I still have to do the details cut out the cockpits put on the, um, the windshields that they have make a cut in the back also to put in the, the back so basically the, the final assembly is still missing so Hopefully, in a few more minutes, the video will be over. And here it is, the almost finished PT-19, the trainer from the Second World War. The glue is still a bit wet and two pieces of tissue that I still put on. I put on the cockpit, the propeller fits. I've made a, a makeshift tail skid. It's not really scaled, but at least that it doesn't drag on the tail. And uh, the only thing that remains now is to try and see if it flies. I'm not sure if I make a video of that because this is going to be difficult but uh, in overall uh, a stopgap model that I did after a complicated one and before the next complicated one with rubber powered um, it took around I'm going to say almost 20 hours and five weeks of work so of course not every day working on it but uh, but quite rewarding actually and the looks actually quite good the color scheme the scheme is uh, is quite nice so I recommend it so I put the link in the in the description to the plan and if you have time and it's a small model so it doesn't take up too much space uh, I do recommend you do it so thank you everybody for watching thank you for stopping by of course leave some comments if you if you can subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you on the next project